friends. And speaking of hugs, I think we have one or two or three for someone special. What are you talking about? <laughs> what? Uh, thank you very much, Heather. Okay, That's right. Heather. Come on in, there Ainsley she is. Earhart. Right. <laughs> it was announced this week that Ainsley Earhart is replacing Elizabeth officially here on Fox and Friends. Ainsley. And there's one thing you need to know about this woman right here. She is one of the nicest people I have ever thank met you in so my entire life. Hey, Sandra. Oh. Hey, Heather. <laughs> Come on. Hey, okay. Come thank, on in. Thank here. you, thank you. And of course, Ainsley's been on maternity leave. Yes. And then you get this news and you're Canadian oh. right here. I'm so excited. Aww. Thank you all so much for the support. Thank you, Roger Ailes, for this opportunity. There are no words. Dreams can come true. And oh, this is truly a moment for me. I sat on the sofa yesterday. We were trying to figure out some shots. And I walked into the studio. How many times have I done that over the course of my 10 years here? Many. I was nervous, excited. Oh. I walked in. It's just so cool. And I am so appreciative of everyone. I can't fill Elizabeth Hasselbeck's yeah. shoes. But I'm going to be here and work as hard as I can and yep. give you the news every morning and wake you up with a smile. And, of course, it's now going to be the Angelina and Hart Studios. That That's we right. Are did they tell you that already? How did you feel about that. that? I can't believe it. I was a little nervous about how you were going to take the that. The things people put in their contracts. Thanks for letting me have that. <laughs> no problem. The naming rights. It is yeah. Studio E as in Earhart. Uh, <laughs> this is true. You know, she's been here for years. She's been working on the early shift for a long time, the Dawn Patrol. The overnight shift. And she's been Seven filling years. in for a long time. A long, yeah. long time. Anyway. To bring you up to speed on Ainsley, watch this. I'm Ainsley Earhart, and Fox and Friends starts right now. So we're all learning about each other, too, because right. we're all new to the show. Here's what's happening in the news this morning. Ainsley Earhart is live in Chattanooga with the very latest. Ainsley Earhart has been working this story and following it from the beginning. She is live at Fort Hood again today in Texas. Ainsley Earhart is live for us, tracking developments from Charleston, South Carolina. Nine people were murdered here on Wednesday night. She deserves to be married and have kids, and you should walk her down the aisle. You know, it's all taken away because of what this man did. Take a look at this video. the hat aficionado so am i wearing this properly or do we you pull are. it back this was made especially for us guess how much the average person gains during the holiday season 20 pounds is that how much you gain no i don't need Simmer down this is my first time driving a ferrari i'm scared cool Okay. That's how it's done. The next thing we're going to do, Ainsley, is we're going to fly upside down. Woo! Stay busy, Brian, and kill me. You're going down. <laughs> That's Ainsley Earhart. <laughs> Who did that? That's Very amazing. Nice. Our producers okay. are so great. You have been awesome. busy. Yeah, it's been a fun ride. It, it really is. has. Aren't we so blessed and we fortunate are. to have jobs like this? And you know what? There are a lot of people out there who are excited to learn more about you. We asked folks if they had questions. Timothy on Twitter asks, Ainsley, what role does the Bible play in your life and the lives you know oh, in the media? Good question, Timothy. You know, it's my instruction book. It really is. I try to read a devotion, Jesus Calling, on the way to work every morning. And it's just the way I get through life. If mm. I didn't have my my Lord and my faith, mm -hmm. then, uh, you know, life would be a lot different and my attitude would be a lot different. So I'm grateful of that. Great, great question. Yeah. Brian, great Brian question. has one on Twitter, so he had to keep it under 140 characters. How are you adjusting to being a working mom? It's been, after all, 45 minutes. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> baby and baby. Where are you working about, what about baby number two, according to the so <laughs> Now, easy. You don't ask a mom who has a three-month-old when baby yeah. two is coming oh, along, right. as you know. There is Twitter etiquette. What are they thinking out there? When does that? When do you get to a point when you say, maybe I want another child? Because I, I, the other maybe. day I was like, I don't I think one and done. Yeah. One and done. Yeah. I love her, but there are many sleepless How nights. Is she, and How is she? She's amazing. Oh, she's am I mean, you know. Does she sleep? Some, she sleeps through the night now. She oh. started doing that at two and a half months, and I was told not to tell anyone that because I'm pretty spoiled. This is another reason. Why I don't know if I'm going to have a number two. Yeah, there you go. Here, here's a question that Barb emailed, and I would like the answer to this. Do you think you have what it takes to keep Ducey and Kumi <gasps> in line? Very important. I question. don't think anyone <laughs> has what it takes, Barb. Mm. We're most worried about this one over here. 
Um, you don't even know my name. I don't think we can keep you in line. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know my name. It's unbelievable. I gotta get, we got to get a poster quick. <laughs> no, it's going to be a lot of fun. Y'all are going to have it to keep is. me in line and give me some directions. And you officially start you. a week from Monday. I start on the 29th. We'll right. be Congratulations, Angel. Thank you, Sandra. Well You've been Welcome. doing a great job, too. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's going to be everyone. great to have her. All right. All right. <laughs> so good to have you back.